Remember those overflowing file cabinets stuffed with medical records? Yeah, healthcare has indeed come a long way in these past few years. Computers have helped with record keeping, billing, and whatnot. But they don't exactly help figure out what's wrong with you, or do they actually? The advancements in AI have helped materialize this concept in the form of IBM's Watson, a cognitive learning machine capable of ingesting and comprehending massive amounts of medical data, including patient records and even medical textbooks. But how exactly does this help Watson make a difference in hospitals, clinics, and research labs around the world? Let's delve into some of the most promising applications of this groundbreaking technology. The Genesis of Watson Ever since IBM's Deep Blue did something that no machine had done before, defeating a reigning world chess champion in a match under standard tournament controls in 1997, the tech giant began looking for a new challenge. And soon enough, they found it in Jeopardy. Now, for those who don't know Jeopardy, is a popular American TV quiz show where contestants are presented with general knowledge clues in the form of answers, and they must phrase their responses in the form of questions. The idea actually came about during a casual dinner in 2004. An IBM research manager, Charles Lickle, and his team were all watching Jeopardy! When contestant Ken Jennings' amazing winning streak got them thinking, Lickle's observation caught the attention of Paul Horn, an IBM research leader who convinced his team to take on Jeopardy! as a challenge. At first, some at IBM were hesitant about this difficult task. But then David Ferrucci, a senior manager, stepped up leading to the design of IBM's DQA architecture and software and, ultimately, Watson. Watson was built to handle massive amounts of information like reading a million books every second. It was super fast too, one of the most powerful computers at the time. But speed wasn't all it had. The real magic was its ability to understand the twists and turns of human language. It could break down questions into key parts and search its giant database for the most likely answers. Early tests showed Watson struggled to understand and answer clues as well and as quickly as human players. By late 2010, Watson's question answering technology was advanced enough to enable it to win about 70% of games against former human Jeopardy. Only a year later though, in 2011, Watson's capabilities were put to the real test when it competed against two of the show's greatest champions, Ken Jennings and Brad Rutter. Like the human contestants, Watson didn't have internet access. However, it had the power of AI at its disposal. The result? It beat them in a contest viewed by millions. IBM still wasn't done though. Capitalizing on the win, the researchers behind the project, specifically the DeepQA architecture, claimed they were confident in its effectiveness and adaptability. This meant DeepQA could be a foundation for combining and improving different question answering algorithms. So only a day after IBM announced plans to explore how Watson's abilities could be applied in real world situations, healthcare, law, education, finance, transportation, and even retail were all potential areas. One, healthcare, fighting against cancer. Developed by IBM and Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, Watson for Oncology has been trained on a massive amount of medical information, including over 600,000 pieces of evidence and millions of pages of medical journals and studies. So when a doctor is treating a cancer patient, Watson can analyze the patient's medical history and their specific type of cancer. Using this information, Watson can then suggest evidence-based treatment options. One study highlighted how Watson for Oncology influenced treatment decisions at Minipal hospitals in India showing that in 13.6% of cases, oncologists modified their treatment plans based on insights provided by Watson. Furthermore, by analyzing a patient's unique genetic makeup, Watson can help doctors identify treatments that are most likely to be effective for that particular patient. This can lead to better outcomes and improved quality of life for cancer patients. Watson isn't just about suggesting treatments. It can also help doctors stay up to date on the latest advancements in cancer research. The field of medicine is constantly evolving and it can be difficult for doctors to keep track of all the new research that's being published. Watson can help by filtering through this information and highlighting only the most relevant studies for each case. Effective Diabetes Management Partnering with the American Diabetes Association, ADA, a leading organization focused on diabetes, Watson is tackling diabetes head-on. The project combines two key ingredients Watson's impressive ability to analyze information often called cognitive computing and the ADA's massive collection of data on diabetes. The collaboration, as you would have guessed already, aims to create a giant diabetes information hub for healthcare professionals. Another exciting part of the project involves a cloud-based platform designed for researchers. But perhaps the most impactful part of this project focuses on the people directly affected by diabetes. The goal was to create a user-friendly tool, like a phone app, that provides personalized information and advice. 
This would empower people with diabetes or prediabetes to take better control of their health. One big step forward in this journey was the launch of the Sugar.IQ, developed by Medtronic and IBM Watson Health. This app uses AI to analyze a user's blood sugar levels. It takes into account things like food intake, insulin doses, and even daily activities. Early study results of its real-world application are promising, where people with diabetes could spend 36 minutes more per day in a healthy glucose range. In this regard, a total of nine days with a healthy glucose range is added per year in the life of a diabetic patient. The app even works with Medtronic's continuous glucose monitoring system and can send out alerts up to four hours before your sugar levels get too low below 70 mgDL to be exact doctors call this low blood sugar hypoglycemia. And it can make you feel lightheaded or even cause seizures if it gets too serious. By giving you this advance warning, the app empowers you to take action and prevent these scary episodes from happening in the first place. This was just the beginning though. With the growing prevalence of diabetes and associated mortality rates, researchers, doctors, doctors, and patients can use this powerful technology to improve health outcomes for millions of people around the world. Drug Discovery and Research Finding new drugs can be a very long and expensive part of developing them. But using natural language processing trained in the life sciences, researchers can come up with new ideas. Watson for Drug Discovery can handle data, both organized in tables and unorganized, to find insights that would seem impossible to find manually. Then, using machine learning and predictive analytics, it comes up with new theories for future research. It also makes data easier to see and understand by showing connections and important properties, which helps researchers find evidence quickly. IBM research showed how Watson helped find new uses for existing drugs to treat Parkinson's disease and related problems, like dementia. By looking at clinical trials, health records, and insurance data, Watson found drugs that might lower the chance of getting dementia in Parkinson's patients. IBM also worked with big drug companies like Pfizer, using Watson to speed up research in immuno-oncology. Improved organizational performance. While it may not seem possible, Watson can completely change how hospitals and clinics work. It can combine and analyze messy, unorganized data sets, letting the facilities create automated workflows, which frees up time and resources that were previously spent on paperwork. This, however, also means doctors can now get to use important information much faster than ever before leading to quicker and more accurate diagnoses and treatments. Speaking of data, by analyzing the records from healthcare activities, Watson may also help institutions track and improve on various performance measures, like the quality of patient care and service costs. This not only helps healthcare providers meet goals, but also helps them find areas where care could be better. Two, other applications, AI modeling. But as already discussed, Watson's capabilities extend far beyond healthcare. A shining example of this is Watson Studio, a powerful toolkit that scientists, developers, and analysts can all use to build, manage, and deploy artificial intelligence AI models. Watson Studio brings together popular open source tools like TensorFlow and PyTorch with IBM's own creations. This lets people work on AI projects in two ways, writing code or using a visual interface. No matter your preference, Watson Studio supports working with Jupyter Notebooks, Jupyter Lab, command lines, and even popular programming languages like Python, R, and Scala. Among the highlights of Watson Studio is its AutoI, the feature that makes billing AI models accessible to everyone, even if you're new to the field. AutoI automates many of the trickier parts of the process, like getting data ready, choosing the right model, and fine-tuning its settings. This lets people with all kinds of experience contribute to AI projects, boosting overall productivity and making it easier for teams to fill any skill gaps they might have. Another important feature of Watson Studio is its focus on AI governance. This means it provides tools to ensure everything you do with AI is clear, manageable, and follows the rules. Transportation and Logistics We all can agree that AI is transforming logistics, the overall process of managing how resources are acquired, stored, and transported to their final destination. However, what many may not know is that Watson can play quite a significant role in this. Companies like Transmetrics are already leveraging Watson to significantly improve their operations. Here's how it works. Transmetrics utilizes Watson's capabilities to analyze data and, as a result, predict future needs. This translates to better planning for companies in the transportation and logistics sector, allowing them to optimize their services. Retail. We all know how online shopping can feel overwhelming, especially for outdoor gear. You sift through hundreds of jackets, each with different features and technologies. Brands like the North Face, however, are teaming up with IBM Watson to change that. They're pioneering something called cognitive retail, which in simpler words, just means a smart shopping experience. Here's what it can do for you though. Instead of comparing jackets, you will answer a quick survey about your planned activities. 
Watson, with its super smart capabilities, will then analyze your answers and match you with the perfect jacket. No more agonizing over insulation types like synthetic, down, or cotton. Watson takes the guesswork out of it, recommending the best option for your specific needs. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. See you next time.